What's going on everybody? Um, got the last piece of my uh, steering in here, my Grant quick release hub. It's a nice piece. I'm, kind of, I'm not kind of happy that this is up so I can't use my other one, but it is what it is. Um, the problem I'm having is instructions. Mount steering wheel to quick release hub using the supplied bolts and washers. What supplied bolts? So, I got some vibrant fittings in. Um, I'm going to have to call, I'm sure someone's going to tell me to fucking call Grant to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, about screws for this. I'll probably end up going to the hardware store and just getting some countersunk screws. I found a couple of screws that fit it right now. They're not right, but at least it'll be able to put the steering wheel on the fucking car and steer it. So, um, I hope you guys liked the last video of uh, setting up all the bump steer kit. I did eventually measure the um, tie rods, triangulations on each side, and it is bent. It does have a bent hub. Uh, it is what it is. I'll try to find a passenger one somewhere. Uh, wiring is finished. Uh, I'm going to be putting the dashboard in today, getting that all fucking situated, getting the center console put in. It's kind of a pain in the ass to put all this shit in. I've never done it. Well, I mean, I've only slung it in from a little bit here, but the actual to finish it and get it in the car, I've never done it. I don't know what hardware goes to what, yada, yada, yada. So, it's going to be fun. We'll see, see what happens. I'm, I'm going to try to make this one... Um, not nearly as long as the last one, I know. There was just, I mean, I tried to edit it down the best I can, and that's what I came up with. So, I already put the, uh, this thing does not want to even sit in here correctly. There we go. It's fucking snug fit. So, this comes with a spline that you bolt to your column. I think I went over the last one why I chose to go with this one instead of um, the other one. The racecraft one. Because this one, I mean look how deep it is. The racecraft one's like out to here. It pushes the wheel out an inch. But, oh well. So, let's put this thing in. Arrow and watch the archers mark up in the
It's a snug fit, boy. I kind of want to, uh, I don't think the column's fucking straight. Yep. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I gotta, uh, I gotta adjust the column over a little. It's definitely crooked. Especially steering under her own power. I said it wasn't coming off those stands until it started and steered. It does both. Um, mostly everything else I can do now on the ground where it is or if I have to jack it up whatever so be it but it's off those stands for now. I'm sure it'll be back on there in the winter just hanging out relaxing with the cover on it but for now it's off the stands. I'm happy she's outside enjoying one of the last beautiful fall days we have. Um, Supposed to bad storm tomorrow, so I'm glad I got this outside and I got it done today. So I showed you everything. I showed you how to do the bump steer kit, which you obviously see it was unbelievably horribly adjusted. I had to adjust it, you know, it's still out, but it wouldn't even roll correctly. Uh, I showed you the offset rack bushings. I showed you the quick release hub, which I don't know. I don't know if I'd recommend that hub yet. It's nice because it's it's very narrow and it's very thin. But um, we'll see how that goes. I, I don't hate it. It looks like it's well machined right now. So we'll see about that. Um, I didn't want to make this video that long after the last long one. So uh, I'll end this one here. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram at Race Status. Like this video, comment on this video, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for another one, hopefully shortly. Um, I'm going to try to get my coolant hoses made. They are really damn expensive. I never wish I went that way, but it is what it is now. So we'll see what we can do with that. And I'm going to show you guys how to make those coolant hoses in the next video. All right? Have a good day, guys.